Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Aries, this is your love message. This is a love reading for you. Let us see what is happening towards you, Aries. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? <clears throat> this is a love reading. This is a love message for the Aries sign. Let us see what's coming towards you in love, relationship, dating, and getting to know. What's the message for Aries, please? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. <laughs> Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Aries, I invite you to check out the description box below. You'll see the details of my website. And um, in the website, you will see the details of the products and the services that we offer outside of the YouTube platform, okay? Thank you, Aries. Let's see what is your love message. What can I get for you? Think about your person. Visualize them. And let's tap into their energy, Aries. This is a love guidance, a love intuitive message for you. Wow. You've got the high priestess. You, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but there's a lot of manifestation here. The high Priestess. Hmm. The Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> and the Two of Wands. I feel like Aries, you're dealing with someone who's very, very workaholic. Okay? You're dealing with someone with... They're very disciplined. Okay? <clears throat> you're dealing with someone who's very disciplined. You're dealing with someone who's very workaholic. Uh, you're dealing with someone who's very determined to, like, there's a lot of ambition in here. There's a lot of um, ambition, work. Um, they're very disciplined. They're very responsible. And they really take things, they really take, like, they, they, they take things seriously when it comes to commitment. Commitment of, like, commitment and responsibility connected to business work okay their work ethic their business e ethic is really something that you could say you're you're overwork or you're <laughs> very ambitious you're dealing with probably with a ceo someone who's very driven when it comes to work their passion is about work their life is about work workaholic yeah eight of cups that's why this person could not connect with you emotionally because all they can think of is work and work and work and money and work. I feel like Aries, you're very sad that you and this person, you've got potential, but they don't want to set aside time to cuddle, to to make time. There's something with this person that you struggle to to get them to be consistent because you have a competition and your competition is another version of themselves which is so dedicated to business and to work. Okay, I'm really getting like a very workaholic person that for some of you, you already break up or you're separated or you're not talking right now. And it's so sad that they weren't, that you and them could not explore the feelings that you have from, you know, from Eight of Cups. The five of cups it means that somehow you surrender but they did not chase you and you're so sad you're kind of disconnected or falling apart but they have not made a move um this person how they feel how they think about you aries is that that you're just gonna be around the corner you know they've got this confident that if they want to be friends with you or date with you somehow you are there I really feel like this person, you got potential, but they think of love as a, no, not love, but more of when they want to have romantic energy, you are the go-to person. And then they switch into robot mode. So I'm seeing them in the future approaching you and giving you all of the attention. Like they don't want to lose you, but they cannot be fully pay attention and keep you. You know, because of work or travel or maybe long distance. But this person will still approach you. This person would even lavish you with, like this person is like, okay, I cannot make it, I cannot make up with time, but I can give you a lot of gifts. 
it can be like that yeah you're in the will of fortune okay i don't have the time in the world but i will give you a gift i will send you this and this and that and this and that so they're quite a very spoiled like you will be spoiled but you would always have to play the second priority work business they could it's possible that this person they, they have kids that that's their main priority that it's critical for them to maintain or to track the growth or their kids something critical about their kids that they need to look after too i'm seeing this up until the end of this year you've got to compete that's the thing is you felt like you always have to compete to get their love to get their attention to get them and the way they make it up with you is gifts or you could or they could persuade you with um they could persuade you with you know one day they will be all over you and then the next day they would be into the work mode again I'm still I'm still seeing this person being part of your life like it's a very fixed person business or other that's their priority until such time that they're confident that that's you know they can leave that out and they could focus on you yeah that's the vibe very they're very rare I feel like this person I feel like you know Aries that this person is rare and special they just don't have the availability you have that's the, that's the vibe I'm getting with this person, Aries. Okay, let's see what else is coming towards you. Okay, the second reading. Ooh, this is you. You have someone of a match, okay? You will match with someone. Ooh, the Queen of Wands and the Devil card. So, this could be a new person. This could be a new person or someone in the past, but this is your match, you feel intuitively that this is your perfect match. Um, you have the same energy. You have the same vibe. You have the same fire. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. However, there is some sort of... Um, like... Because there's a devil card in here. You might have a competition with this person. And it's not a competition that is like work or family or business it's an actual competition so you met someone who they have someone already or there's a competition a very strong competition the thing is i think you would like to stay and compete but now you're kind of changing your mind so because this person is worth staying and competing but the thing with this person is that they're sitting with the Queen of Wands. They like being torn. Like, they like the competition. You know, um, there's definitely like a third party involved in here. Or multiple dating or getting to know. Like, intuitively, you are aware that, okay, they're, they're not consistent because they're talking to other people. Or maybe you caught them. But the thing is, even if you compete with this person... They enjoy that, you know. This person enjoys you being around and another person being around. And for them, it's like a game. It's like fun. But it's playing with fire or feelings. That's what I'm getting with this person. The devil card. Yeah, the ace of wands is here. Lots of fire and passion. You know what? Aries... This person, they're worth, I mean, they're an amazing person. I mean, they're a good, good catch. But the thing is, they're playing with fire. They're playing with feelings. Like this person could not, could not and will not be able to, they won't be able to develop feelings. They won't be able to solidify their feelings because they're confused. They probably like you and they like another person or they love you and they're also in love with another person. So in terms of passion, fire, and the suspense, um, like ecstasy, it's here, you know. But when it comes to security and stability, it would be very, very confusing. And I, and I see this person... 
being foolish because you're also a good gadget. The other person is also a good gadget. Like, they're gonna create their own demon. Because at some point, one of you will detach. The, the other party would find, would find, like, everyone will else, everyone else involved in here, I felt like it was a third party, will find out. And I don't think he would stay. Because you don't want to compete with somebody, right? They cannot decide because they both like you, whoever this person is. Yeah, justice card. The three of cups. They would, yeah, four of swords. This person, whoever this person is, Aries, they would keep you and the other person for as long as, like, if they can keep you both, they will keep you both. This person will keep you both. The other per, you know, for as long as they can keep you both and they can eat two cakes, they will do that. So one of you, it's you or the other third party, would have to let go. Yeah. They might lose you both. And then that's where they realize, okay, I really need to choose. But it, it's going to be a long way. Like, it's not going to happen soon. So you might break your own heart with this person because they're very indecisive and not cool. Not really cool. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to really recommend to be a part of this. This is not love. This is torture this is confusion it's not fair so you know it's it's a feeling where just because you're good looking or this or that you can play with other people's feelings lots of feelings involved in here and um so take it easy follow your intuition and yeah protect yourself protect your energy i'll see you soon aries you have a great day bye bye